do I get to Moore Parkway? What does this look like, buddy? A gas station? This is private property, so move before I have you arrested for trespassing. I have come in the name of the Lord. Forces of evil tremble for justice as a new champion. Megabyte man! Yo! Superhero! I'm all this! The latest field combat hacker. 10,000 bit rads with laser satcom link and mass density battery. This will be a mighty weapon in my war against evil. is an unauthorized entry. You are all under arrest. I, Joan of Arc, command you. Be gone! Officer Alex Murphy, shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. kind of massive electrical discharge fried every dendroid in a synaptic net. What the hell did this? Well, nothing that I know of. But whatever it is, packs a heck of a punch. Nice dress. I need to retrieve any data from his memory on the robbery. Madigan, this is a total disruption. There may not be any memory left. Period. What do we got, Sarge? 
Hot date? More like a flash in the pan. What's up? No prints, no fibers, no DNA traces. But forensics did find these. Dog tags? Mm -hmm. Looks like they were fried. Let's see if I can get the lab to raise the engraving. Sergeant, I demand to know what the hell's going on here. I'm afraid you've been robbed, sir. Detective Madigan is in charge of the investigation. Detective? Eugene Omar, Vice President, Omni Militech. Yes, sir, I know. Interpreting the on-duty dress code a little liberally, aren't we, Detective? This was an emergency call, sir. I didn't have time to change. Sergeant, will you tell me why this case has been assigned to a rookie? Detective Madigan is one of our best investigators, sir. The first thing we'll need is an inventory of what was stolen. Hold on. Most of the ordinance in here is top secret. Well, now, that's a problem, sir. We need to know what we're looking for, don't we? Sergeant, keep me posted. And you, little lady, I didn't stand for insubordination when I hauled brass on my shoulders, and I'm damned if I'll take it from you. Real live chauvinist pig. What does he think this is, the 20th century? Yes, it's still a man's world. Yeah, well, maybe that's why it's so screwed up. Die. This one's for America! This one's for America! I'm gonna be like Combat Bill when I grow up. This one's for America. Okay, raise the radar. His head's turning. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, hold on. Got it. Now, raise the right arm. Did you reprogram to counter the ionization of the field dampers? Of course I did. Oh. Lucky guess. Hey, Charlie? Yeah? Can I talk to him? Oh, I'll uh, try his vocal synapse. Officer, officer, officer. Adjusting uh, tonal oscillation. Officer, o officer Madigan, how can I help you? All right, he's back. How are you feeling, partner? I have been better. Okay, so what hit you? Can you remember anything about the robbery? My memory banks are damaged. There is much conflicting data. Okay, maybe this will jog a few circuits. We found a melted pair of dog tags on the scene, right? We got the lab to raise the engraving enough to where we could identify one of them is belonging to something called H Company. H Company. Also known as Hard Company. An elite combat unit in the Amazon. The entire company was massacred in the Feliz Navidad offensive nine years ago. Sure, we learned all about that in social studies class. They were heroes. Great, our only solid piece of evidence and it points to a dead Amazon war hero. Madigan. Sarge. I warned you about locking horns with OCP brass. I just got a call from Public Works. Mr. Omar and the chairman himself want to see you, and I mean right now. Well, that's good, because I'd like to talk to them. Madigan? Don't worry, Sarge. I'll be my usual charming self. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Come on, Gatch. Upstairs. Oh, can I stay, please, Sarge? I don't mind if she hangs around. Uh, maybe she'll learn something. You sure? Yeah. You behave yourself, OK? All right. Don't worry. Charlie and me will fix you. On the floor above, OCP's NeuroBrain and Metronet computers manage the utility needs of over three million people. All of it powered from here. This room is the heart of the entire system. And this is what makes it tick. Omnium, OCP's contribution to the periodic table of elements. The first and only stable transuranic catalyst that successfully fuses hydrogen isotopes at low enough temperatures to make cold fusion energy possible on a major scale. The scientific explanations in your brochures. But with this five kilograms of omnium, we can generate enough energy to run our city into the next century. Imagine the possibilities. Enough power to industrialize a nation without a drop of oil or hydro dams or those pesky nuclear reactors. A 
Remember, our price includes installation, plus at no extra charge, a custom security system complements of Omni Militech. General Omar. Yes, thank you, sir. Well, we have full video coverage, enhanced by thermal, sonar, and ion sweeps. Now, say one of those crazy rebel groups that's always pestering you folks tries to take over, that elevator is the only way in. Should an intruder gain entry, cryoblasters will instantly reduce the temperature of the car to near absolute zero in 1.6 seconds. Now, if that doesn't stop him cold, a 10-ton armor door drops into place, sealing off this chamber with an impenetrable barrier. Gentlemen, I'm afraid we have to leave you now. Business calls. If you have any further questions, I'm sure Dr. Tang can answer them. You wanted to see me, sir? Not here, Detective. This way. This is what you call proper on-the-job attire? It is at Metro South. Sir, I got over One here. moment, Detective. What is this? Clean. Little lady, what we're about to tell you is highly classified. You understand, Detective, we can't risk exposing military secrets to the enemy, or worse, a competitor. Mr. Chairman, I'm only interested in taking out the bad guys. I understand that. But the stolen items must be recovered quietly. After all, we don't want to cause a panic. Panic? One of the weapons may pose a significant threat to public safety. What the hell was in that warehouse? In case you run into whatever it was that hit you again, I'm installing an EDF. EDF. That means electrostatic dampened field. Right. Here it goes. This one's for America! Frank. Robo, what's wrong? Nothing. You, you shouted a name. Frank. Sam's mission in the Amazon War is to defeat the enemy while saving the rainforest. This ruled out most conventional weapons today. Omnimilitech's answer, the Plasma Cannon, a new generation in military technology. We developed the Plasma Cannon for the Pentagon as a way to neutralize the enemy while causing minimum damage to the flora and fauna. Neutralize as in kill. It fires a concentrated energy bolt of 800 million Zoiden gases, capable of destroying the electrical system of any machine, weapon, or human. Needless to say, OCP is anxious to avoid any publicity. The very existence of this weapon must remain secret. Oh, a killing machine is on a loose, but you do not want to warn the people about it? Try to understand OCP's position, detective. If word of this theft gets out... If word gets out, you're telling me that people's lives aren't more important than your precious corporate image? Our country is at war. To divulge any of this would be treason. Punishable by death. It's not very nice to spy on a lady. The plasma cannon is ready for transport, sir. Good work, soldier. Our whole mission depends on this baby. Dr. Rimmer, I saw her. A super villainous. Inhabiting the city's computer net. Hey, I'm real happy for you. Uh, just remember to take your super vitamins. Say hi to God for me, Joni. What's the problem, Lupus? You starting to shed? <laughs> your damn pills can't help me. I'm changing. Look, fangs, hairs. 
You're meeting like crazy. It's killing me. Down, boy. Somebody help. <laughs> See what happens when you don't take your medication? Let him sleep it off. Damn it, he's sick, sir. I gave you an order, soldier. Roger that, sir. Roger that. You said the medication would pacify their episodes. Hey, we are dealing with post-trauma personality displacement psychosis the likes of which the medical world has never seen. Hey, can I help it if every so often one of them slips a gear? Colonel Brock. Damn it. Now what? It's Lupus, sir. He's dead. Que son âme repose en paix. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint Esprit. Murphy, I didn't know Charlie put you back online. I put myself back. A crime has been committed. So I was just about to scan the Pentagon data on Hard Company. Killed in action. Ah, oh, those dog tags had to come from somewhere. Try next of kin. None. I don't get it. I want to put those pictures on the wire. So, Murphy, sure okay? Yes, but thank you for your concern. All right. Lying, Alex? I didn't know you were programmed for deception. I did not lie. Okay, you bent the truth. You know those are the creeps who robbed the Militech warehouse. Dead men do not commit crimes. Why not? Officially, we're dead and it hasn't stopped us. Diana, can you access the Pentagon's classified data on Hard Company? Do you know how many security codes are layered on that stuff? There's a war on. That should not be difficult for someone with your skill. First lying, and now flattery. What has got into you, Alex? It is personal, Diana. Okay, I'll do it. But only as a favor for you. Keep me informed. Yes, sir. Friends of yours? They are parents of a friend. Correction. Foster parents. Frank was an orphan. You and this Frank were close? We grew up together. Frank Uno was a sergeant in hard company, killed in action. But I saw him alive. Did you check the Pentagon's files? All I could find out was that hard company was assigned to a top secret biochemical project just before they were massacred. And their code name was, get this, Big Sword. Ask nicely, and I may tell you the name of the Pentagon officer in charge of Hard Company and Big Sword. Tell me, please. General Eugene Omar. Vice President of Omni Militech. One and the same. You see what happens when you're nice? Diana. Thank you. Anything for a friend. Two hours to go. 
Look alive! You're one cold sucker, sir. Begging your colonel's pardon. You don't let one casualty make you lose sight of the objective, soldier. He was in country with us. We bled on the same dirt. There was no casualty. Lupus was a friend. And there are thousands more just like him. They'll all die the same way if we fail. Lupus would have wanted us to go on. Sanitation workers found him in the city dump. Figured he was just another homeless John Doe. The cop who responded got your APB on hard company. She did two tours in the Amazon, and uh, she recognized this. Zoom in, right wrist? Let me guess, H Company. This guy was supposed to have been killed nine years ago. Yeah, I know. Felice Navidad. I don't get it. Why did this guy end up in our morgue? Well, the coroner said he had highly advanced nerve damage and cell cancer. Poor guy. He was literally eaten away inside. Well, if he was a member of Hard Company, guess what, Sarge? Pentagon's been lying to us all these years. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time. Detective Madigan, I'm in an important meeting. When I get a call demanding that I come here, like a common criminal, this time, I'm gonna have your badge. I didn't call you in, sir. Then who the hell did? I did. General Omar, you are wanted for questioning in connection with the warehouse robbery. You have the right to remain silent. You may have a lawyer present during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be provided for you. For this, this one's for America. Frank Uno, Sergeant, first class with H Company. And Lyle Vance, another member of Hard Company, found dead in a city garbage dump. This all means squat to me. You were the Pentagon officer in command of Hard Company. That information is classified. Did you know that members of Hard Company are still alive? No, I did not. I did not. Voice stress analysis indicates you are lying. Hard Company never existed. It was a cover story cooked up when we formed the Ghost Squad. Ghost Squad? Volunteers. Orphans, mostly. People who wouldn't be missed. They carried out the most sensitive missions. The ones that officially don't exist. Mr. Brown, you've just won a brand new Sux 6,000 and 500 gallons of ultra-leaded gasoline. What do you have to say for yourself? Boy, do I feel <laughs> stupid! <laughs> oh, you missed a good one. There it is, Mr. Brown. Rebel in it. There it goes. He's a winner, folks! Lose the gun. Okay, okay. We don't get paid enough to get shot. Lock him up. Ali. We have taken the objective. Somebody's pirating a signal over the police comm net. You better take a look. To protest the cruel treatment of Americans who fought and died in the Amazon jungle, we have seized OCP public works. We have a weapon capable of destroying the Omnium Corps, which powers the Metronet that runs your city. The plasma cannon. We demand that former General Eugene Omar, now OCP Vice President of Omni Militech, divulge the facts of Operation Big Sword to the American public. Divulge the facts of Operation Big Sword to the American public. You have one hour to comply. If our demand is not met, we will turn off your city. Forever. Can they carry out this threat? Well, destruction of the isotope is just for openers. The electrostatic pulse of that cannon would fry the whole system. The power be out for years, maybe decades. General Omar, 
What about giving in to their demand? Wait, wait, wait. What is Big Sword, anyway? That information is classified. Oh, come on. Big Sword was a secret biochemical project assigned to Hard Company. How the hell do you know that? That information is classified. General Omar, if you don't give them what they want, those maniacs are going to carry out their threat. Now, you try to imagine what a permanent loss of power will do to this city. We'll be in the Stone Age before sunrise. Do you really want that on your conscience? You're asking me to commit treason. I won't do that. Tell that to the chairman. Omar, what the hell's going on? Are these people serious? I'm afraid that's a Roger. Sir, I strongly advise against negotiating with these terrorists. Quite right. But can we stop them? They control the security system, sir. We can't get to them. I can. Hold on. The EDF I installed may shield you from one blast of that cannon, two tops. Any more could result in terminal shutdown. I will have to take that risk. He is our only chance, sir. Agreed. Robocop, we're counting on you, son. Good luck. You heard? Are you kidding? Whatever they used to jam that signal gave me one very large headache. Can you access the public works security system? I already tried. They've got a hacker who could show me the way around a computer. Alex, do you know what a bolt of electrical plasma fired into the Omnium core would do? Permanent erasure of all data in Metronet and neurobrain memory, including you. Permanent erasure. It's one way to describe it. Another is death. have our nation's children bored, you need the Eliminator 3000. It has over 900 realistic warfare features, including satellite dish, flamethrower, anti-tank missile, and cluster bomb. And if you act now, you'll also receive Bago Guts. Wow, looks like a real war wound. Dad, don't let your little soldier get bored. I am the Eliminator 3000. Additional bag of guts available at all OCP toy outlets and finer gift shops. This is a Media Break Bulletin. A shocking development tonight. A small band of armed terrorists has seized control of the OCP Public Works Complex. We have few details, but the police have cordoned off the area, and the chairman of Omni Consumer Products is on the scene. We now go there live. I repeat, there is no need to panic. We have total control of the situation. The citizens of this city, not to mention our shareholders, can rest assured OCP will never bow to terrorist threats. We can't allow ourselves to be bullied and intimidated by a small group of maladjusted individuals. <laughs> Let him talk. In 10 minutes, he and 3 million citizens will be freezing in the dark. <laughs> we have devised a way to handle the Business. Make way. As I said, everything's under control. Robocop's on the job. John, get up there. Hold him off. Activate the elevator.
there will be trouble. Shut down the Metronet. 
What the hell have you got my company into? Mr. Chairman, I assure you... The only assurance I want is that your letter of resignation will be on my desk first thing in the morning, you pompous, strutting martinet. My resignation? You bet your ass. Warning. Termination of computer memory will occur in three minutes, 30 seconds. Here. My South American partners will pay an extra bundle for this, baby. Warning. Termination of computer memory will occur in three minutes. I'm getting weaker, Alex. Please. Man, you still got some weird friends. Why does she call you Alex? We are close. Yeah. I know a kid named Alex once. A long time ago. Alex Murphy. Yeah, yeah. How did you... Murph, is that you? I was. A long time ago. No. no it can't be. And you sure have changed. So have you. Under arrest. Warning. Termination of computer memory will occur in two minutes. Get behind me. Give it up, Brock. Is I'm getting weaker, Alex. Please help me. As Congress began hearings on the big sword scandal rocking the Pentagon, members approved funding for medical research to help Amazon vets who may have been exposed to the deadly biotoxin. 
In Detroit, former General Eugene Omar resigned from Omni Militech after his involvement in Big Sword was exposed. The sale of Puerto Rico to a group of Taiwanese businessmen is a step closer to reality. As a government spokesperson noted today in Washington, they have plans for it, we don't. Sorry about your friend. He may have saved the lives of a lot of Amazon war vets. At least he went out as a hero. He was a good soldier. I wonder how many more like him have to die in this stupid war. Do you think the Amazon war will ever come to an end? Let's hope so. With luck, maybe we will outgrow it. <laughs>